What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the College Cookbook. Today we are making smash burgers. Up first, every good burger needs burger sauce. So it's going to be kind of like Big Mac sauce or other burger sauce you've had. I'm going to show you how to make that. It goes perfect with any burger you're going to make, um, but especially good with these smash burgers. So let's get going with those. Let's get going with that. Okay, the burger sauce recipe calls for one half cup of mayo, one fourth cup of ketchup, two teaspoons of sweet pickle relish, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of white vinegar, and one teaspoon of uh, ground black pepper. Boom, half cup. Mayo going in. Oh no. Okay, now we need a fourth of a cup of ketchup. Oh God. Just got trusty old Heinz here. Fourth of a cup of ketchup going in. Like I said, you're gonna get some to stick to the sides and stuff. So rather than just spooning that, trying to spoon that all out. I'm just going to give it an extra little squirt just over the top. Next we have two teaspoons of sweet pickle relish. Just got plastic here. Don't need to be super precise, but just fill that up. One, two. Next we have two teaspoons of sugar. There's one. Two. Next, we have two teaspoons of white vinegar. This is just gonna give, uh, this is gonna give the sauce just a little acidity to it. A little kick. One, two. Then finally, just one teaspoon of ground black pepper. One teaspoon ground black pepper. Got all the ingredients for the sauce in the bowl. Now you're just gonna mix it together. I'm just gonna use a spoon, spoon it together. All right, we got our sauce all mixed together. I'm gonna give it a little finger taste. It's like perfectly like creamy from the mayo and ketchup, but then you get a little tang from the vinegar. A little bit of like, kind of like that, not really heat, but that pepperiness from the ground black pepper. And then it's sweet from the sugar and relish. Tastes, it's not exactly like Big Mac sauce, but this is really good. It's gonna go good on this burger. It's gonna be perfect. And give that another taste, that's awesome. Mm. All right, okay up first for these burgers. They're gonna be bacon cheeseburgers So I got um, a nice thick cut applewood smoked bacon here, but uh, any like thick cut bacon will work um, I like good bacon. So I got some of the good stuff When I put the bacon on the burger, um, I might cook it in a whole strip But then when I go to put it on the burger, I'll tear that in half So however many strips you put on it's gonna be twice as much bacon as you're gonna actually put on the burger. So We'll do about four slices I already have my oven preheated to 425 degrees, and these will go for about 10, 15 minutes. So just keep your eye on them while you're cooking everything else. Those going in. Right now we got the bacon going in the oven. We got the sauce made up. So now it's time to get going on the patties. For the patties, I like to use 80-20 ground chuck. That means it's 80% lean meat to 20% fat. Um, you kind of want a higher fat content with your hamburger. It's going to give it more flavor. It's gonna help it um, hold together better. You're not gonna get a crumbly, kind of meaty taste of the hamburger. Let's be honest, hamburger is not like, the best tasting meat. So the more fat um, and the better it holds together, the better your burger is gonna be. I like to grab the meat, pinch it off, get a little, kind of just like a fistful amount. And you're gonna patty it together, bring it all together, mush it together. You're gonna want these to be you're gonna want these to hold together really well because we're making smash burgers. You're gonna smash it down on the high heat and you don't want it falling apart, splitting in half on you. So make sure you just push it together really well, ball it up, kind of like you're working some dough. It's like a billiard sized ball, a little pool ball. It's about the exact size of that. Yeah, boom, just like that. So that way whenever you smash it down, it's still gonna be thin and crispy like a um, burger from like Steak and Shake or Culver's or something, but it's still gonna have like that perfect amount of uh, like beefy bite to it. So yeah, boom, right there, keep it that size. And you wanna make sure you're getting consistent patties. You don't want some to be bigger, some to be smaller. You want it all to be nice, consistent. Doesn't matter a whole lot, but. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, bacon cooked a little faster than I expected. So I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, look at that, perfectly crispy.
What's up, Dan? What's up? Dude, look at all these succulents. Nice. Yeah, those are gonna put me in the doghouse, dude. The succulents? Should I bought all that stuff? And then she left. And I like potted them all for her. And I sent her a picture. And she's like, I told you to wait to pot those until I got home. Okay, we're not getting too fancy seasoning these burgers. We're just gonna use a little bit of kosher sea or not kosher sea salt, kosher salt, and then just some um, black pepper. Keep it pretty simple. Um, honestly, that's the best. That's what I like best on my burgers, anyways. We're just gonna sprinkle some of the salt on top. You don't need to do the bottom right now. We'll get that as soon as it goes on the pan. Just like that. Just a little finger pinch over the top. Boom. pepper comes out fast so I gotta be careful but just sprinkle over the top just like that you don't need a whole lot all right now that we got our patties all set all seasoned I'm gonna cook oh, that's smoking all right now that we got the patties all patted up all seasoned I'm gonna cook here with the cast iron and I'm gonna cook with the normal non-stick both are cranked up to like medium high heat so on mine it's, a, it's right between six and eight um, on both burners. So I'm kind of just showing you the benefits of the cast iron skillet um, as compared to the non-stick, but you definitely can cook it in whatever you got. We're gonna let these bring up the heat while we're doing that. So since these are both, they're gonna be cooked at high heat, they're gonna be smashed thin, so it's not gonna take very long on the patties. So we're gonna pre-toast our buns. Here we got Hawaiian style buns. I prefer buns to be on the sweeter side. Um, it's a little thicker, it holds up more when you toast it, and it's more flavorful, so when you put all that stuff on the burger, you kind of don't want the bun to be in the background. You want to be able to taste that too. You want to be able to taste every element of the burger. So I go with Hawaiian roll bun. This is just a flat top little electric griddle. Um, this will kind of like replicate or emulate like a flat top grill at a restaurant. So this. You could just do this on a non-stick skillet too, if that's all you have. We're gonna put that up to like 300 degrees. I'm gonna talk a little louder because I just turned the fan on. Because it's starting to smoke up. Don't want to burn the apartment down. But you're just gonna take a little unsalted butter, softened. If you got the fake stuff, you got margarine, you got whatever, use that. Just toast up your buns. Both sides of the bun. We're gonna throw our buns on. Keep your buns close together. You don't wanna lose the top, the bottom. All right, keeping our eye on that. Moving to the burgers. All right, you're gonna take the ball of hamburger you got. Burger, blah, blah. You're gonna take the ball of hamburger you got, season side down into the cast iron, straight onto that heat. You're gonna take your spatula and just smash the shit out of it. Like I said, you got really high heat. It's gonna cook quick. It's gonna cook right up. It's okay if your hamburger's a little pink on the inside. People are scared to eat like medium cooked hamburger. Now we're gonna put it, we're gonna test out the non-stick, see how this works out, same thing. Season side down, press it out. And while they're going, you're gonna season the other side now. It's starting to get smoky in here. It's like salt and pepper, just like we did before. Boom. Keep your eye on those, they go quick. We got the buns, getting nice and toasted, perfect. I like to flip the buns, get the top a little toast, get the tops and the bottoms a little toasted too. That way you just got a nice, even cooking on it. Oh my God. Right, we're opening the door, it's getting a little smoky in here. Pulling the buns, we're pulling the buns. Flipping. Get your spatula under there. Flip it. You have a perfect crust on that. You got a perfect crust on top of that. The cat or the non-stick. You got a little crust development there. You don't really need to smash down once you've already flipped. You got that smash you need. You got that contact right on the top. But if it's looking a little too thick for your liking, you can smash it down a little bit. But that's where you're gonna leak out a lot of that moisture. For the cheese, we're gonna use a sharp cheddar here. It's just got more flavor than uh, like a mild cheddar or even American cheese. I know there's people that are weird and like only American cheese belongs on burgers, but sharp cheddar, definitely better. Pretty soon after you flip it, you're gonna wanna slab the cheese on there because you want the cheese to melt. You don't want the steam from the patty. 
come up, melt the cheese, and like I said, it doesn't take very long. So boom, right there. Not on top. As soon as it's melting, those are done. We're gonna slap them on the buns here. Buns. We're gonna sauce up with the sauce we just made. Not a lot, just a spoonful on each, right on the bottom. All right, our cheese is melted. Oh, fuck. We got cast iron going on this one. We got non-stick going on this one. Up next, we got a little bit of tomato, a little bit of lechuga. There, now we're past the core. I kind of like a thick slice of tomato. Holy shit, that was horrible. All right, boom. There's one, our lettuce. All right, pro tip, lettuce. Take the bottom of the thing and just smash it down. Ah! It's gonna pop in and then you can just easily pull that out. The inner leaves, boom. Just a good little leafage. Next, on top of the cheeseburger, you're throwing down lettuce. You're throwing down a tomato. Boom. Salt and pepper your tomato. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pep. Bacon. We got our bacon pre-cooked. Tearing that in half. Going right on top there. Closing that up. Boom. Here we go. We got four beautiful bacon cheeseburger smash burgers. Oh my god, we got some cheese falling off the side. Look at that. Beautiful. That was really good. The burger sauce on there, it's perfect. Oh. I like the Hawaiian, the Hawaiian roll, because it's light, fluffy, but still holds together. It's sweet. Per place perfectly with all the stuff we got going on here. Mm. That is how you make restaurant quality smash burgers with perfect burger sauce. Really, it's not very expensive. Hamburger is pretty cheap. Um, if you get some of the cheaper bacon, you don't even need to put bacon on there. But just splurge a little bit when you're getting the bun. You want a good bun that's going to make the burger way better. The tomato, lettuce, cheap. But yeah, if you're grilling out, tailgating, Take your tailgate up a little bit. Make some burger sauce to bring to the tailgate. You got perfect, perfect like restaurant quality burgers. Um, it's honestly really good. Got some friends here. Made enough burgers for all of us. You guys wanna come dig in? <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of the College Cookbook. Stay tuned for more easy recipes you can make while you're in college, um, from home, in your dorm, wherever. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tonging it? We're tonging it? Oh.